All right, thank you for joining me. I've got a really special thing for you today. In fact, <laughs> totally out of character for me. I'm gonna teach you how to use Zoom. What? That has nothing to do with being an adjuster. Well, no, it doesn't, but it's a very useful tool. So stay tuned. I'm gonna teach you a really quick one minute video on how to use Zoom. Welcome back. Okay, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you. So here, we're gonna go right to the computer and we'll take a look. So on, on top here, we got the Zoom shortcut or you can head down to your computer and type Zoom. Z, Z, oops, Z, O, 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 no, <laughs> Zoom, <laughs> I can't speak. All right, so this, wi this window pops up and what it does is it gives us a link here to be able to say, hey, I wanna start a new meeting or two, I wanna join a meeting. Or three, uh, I could schedule a meeting. I know I could share my screen too, but this will give you the date and time, current date and time, and then allow us to start a meeting. So if you've not set up an account, you'll hit this top corner and you can set up uh, an account. You can, I've set up for the free basic program here. This is a free, a free software that you can use. You don't have to set up anything and uh, go down and, and get yourself set up. You can buy a license if you want, but you don't have to. You can just use this free. So once you have that account, you log in, and a lot of times you can join a meeting. Okay, so here it says enter a meeting ID or personal link name. Well, I'm going to pop over to another screen real quick, and uh, over here is something like uh, for our Sunday school class, we have somebody send us a, a link uh, by email, and it comes in and this will be um, you know, each week, it'll say Zoom. All you gotta do is click on that link and it'll automatically take me back and log me in. Basically, it'll super quick and easy, it'll just pop right in and get me a new meeting. Okay, so typically if I wanted to start my own meeting, oh, imagine that, there I am. I can start a meeting and I can uh, host it or I can add people. So down here at the screen at the bottom, there's participants. I can invite people if I'd like. Over here, I can turn on a chat screen. And over here on the right here, I can chat. Um, uh, and over here, I actually have an option to turn off the video. So let's say I don't wanna watch or have the video. I can actually click that stop video and I can just show my logo. So once I set up a logo, I can have that. But if I have the, the screen open, that's gonna use your screen that's on your camera. Um, may not be the best camera in the whole world. So, you know, it's okay. And then one of the most important things that most people don't, don't remember is this mute button. Okay, so this is gonna be something where you can turn the microphone off or on. And as quickly, all I gotta do is just do that. Turn it off or turn it on. Okay, so that's pretty much simple usage in order to figure out how to use this. Um, it's not a difficult program. A lot of people get kind of freaked out by it. Um, and they, uh, I guess they just get frustrated with it, but it's really a simple program. So let's say I wanted to start my own meeting. I can schedule a meeting. I can say, okay, on Saturday, I'm going to, uh, I want this to be Saturday, so I can turn around, I push Saturday, and then maybe I want it at eight o'clock in the morning, so I come down, I scroll down, get my, get my eight o'clock in the morning time frame. Uh, maybe duration is 30 minutes. Maybe it's a reoccurring meeting that happens every Sunday or whatever I want to do. I can generate this automatically, this meeting ID, and it'll send me an email, and then I can share it. Or I can click on this and have a personal meeting ID, and then I just share that ID with the person in an email. If I want to have lots of security, I can share a security code. It's a good idea, because uh, otherwise then everyone can just access it without having the security code. So that's really important to put in. Um, I can add it to a calendar and just like I had on this prior one that I was showing you, uh, he has it in a calendar and it sent, comes to me at that specific time every week and automatically generates that. But if you have any other questions, you can go to uh, the webpage here, zoom.us. There's tons of uh, information and self-help there for you to figure out uh, if you want to know a little bit more about how the details of this works. Uh, but otherwise, it's really a simple program, guys, and I just don't want you to be afraid of using this program. 
A lot of people are using it for school. They're using it for uh, meetings and church and possibly business meetings. I know our guys use this sometimes as an adjuster. We'll have meetings that'll show up and we'll have that as well. So don't be uh, afraid to use it. A lot of schools are using it right now. So uh, for us old folks out here that maybe <laughs> need a little help <laughs> trying to figure this out, don't be afraid. But anyway, so Daniel the Adjuster signing off. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you found something useful here. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.